guys it's Ron from back at you one more again if this is your first time coming to my channel welcome namaste love and blessings to you and love and light and please like and subscribe hit that notification button even drop a comment at the end of the video if you feel free and even hit that bell so you'll know when i'm about to upload my next video and if you please kind of give me a thumbs up and thank you for the support <laughs> and if this is your returning time subs Coming to my channel, thank you, fam, for the support. Lama say and love and blessings to you also. Today, my video is about Twin Flame 101 Divine Timing. I'm sort of here listening to Drake and Genie I Echo's instrumental from time. I love this beat, it's just tight. But, um, divine Timing, guys, when we've gone through stuff. Things are not gonna happen when we want them to happen. When we're like, okay, God, I want this today, and you don't get it until next week. You just gotta be grateful and learn from that point until you get it. What was the reason why you didn't get it? Or the reason, you know, just look at everything. Just have an open mind. I had to do that. Just look at everything from the bigger picture. And just know that when I look at, you know, like today I was going over my book. And it, I really thought it was the high, hardest thing, hardest thing, not hardest, but hardest thing that I thought I was going to have to go through because it is just like reliving pain. I've told people that, you know, that I'm uh, conversed with a lot. You know, not that book. <laughs> it opens up. That's like my Pandora's box right there. Opens up a lot of wounds that, you know, I never thought I was going to recover from. But when looking at my book and just looking at everything that happened and to the person I am today, Everything had to be at the divine timing. And then know that I had to go through this. I really had to go through everything, you know, basically for my life to set an example in the world for some kind of way. You know, and it was just like, you know, reading on the things I read up on and they're, they're saying, you know, the lost knowledge that the planet wasn't ready for it yet, which we probably need right now. And it just felt really good to actually put all my pain and sorrow in this book and just know I have made it through everything that I've been through and it's just like you know I looked at my Facebook the other day and I, you know I'll tell you about guys about my Facebook memories that I have sometimes and and then it was just on the other day it was it's been three years that I'm a cancer survivor you know I've had um problems in my um in my ovaries and my cervix and stuff like that and it, it got really bad so they had to go ahead and remove some organs and stuff like that and it's been three years and i'm just like god dog i can't believe it's been three years you know without cancer and it felt really good and it was just like people kept on saying oh my god you know i'm craving for you i'm like look it just happened it happened three years ago y'all late i'm just saying i'm happy that's all i'm saying it's just i'm happy you know and it, it's just crazy sometimes people just see the negative and don't want to see the positive but that's fine but, you know, I was just, like, grateful to the fact that people actually sat out and wanted to, you know, say prayers for me. And I appreciated that. And it's just, like, some people like, God, Rosalind, I didn't know you had cancer, too. You you know, you went through some stuff. You know, and I said, yep, I got a pretty good story to tell. And it's just, like, you go through things and you never know what your story of your life can impact on somebody. What it can do for people. And what it might be able to help somebody with. And that is just a blessing all right there in disguise. You never know what your story that you're going through might help the next person. Maybe like, dang, I didn't look at it that way. You never, you know, you made me look at something totally different. And just to know is, you know, things come and they happen right at that time when it's supposed to divide timing. Because you, you could be pondering about something and next thing you know, you'll look at a newspaper and you'll see your answer right there divine timing anytime you have questions just ask god or whatever you choose to pray to you know i don't get into religious beliefs but um just ask for your signs and you will always find them that way but just trust and believe everything happens for a reason nothing is never by coincidence nothing is never by accident it's just, when you're going through stuff, we have did things in our past, in our past lives that we have to let go of and just basically just go through the motions of it and just learn and deal with it. And be able to soak up whatever you can get from whatever experience you went through. And it was just like, I really hesitated on going back to that book because I had to do my last little bit of editing 
before I can go ahead and try to find out who I'm going to have published it or whatever. But, you know, it, it made me feel really good that I was able to do that. And it was just like, you know, there was some tears when I started talking about, you know, certain things that happened in my life. But it was okay. Just knowing I'm releasing all that. I'm going through Ascension and Kundalini and everything else right right about now. And it's just, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but if you, you'll, you'll feel a certain shift in the world. <clears throat> Especially if you are spiritually in tune with yourself, you'll notice that a lot of things are starting to shift. Like, things are happening for a reason. Things are, you know, a lot of things are coming out that has happened over years ago. And they're starting to come out to the forefront now. This is the year all the masks come off. For anything, it's like, guys, if you never did anything in your past that is just unbearable or messed up, trust and believe it's going to find its way to come out one way or another. You can never hide things because they, they either they'll eat at you to a point where you'll end up saying something or it'll present itself to you. One of the two. You can run from it all you want to, but it'll always come back to it. But just trust and believe. Just say your meditations. I mean, say your affirmations. Do your meditations and stuff like that. And just ask for divine guidance. That's what I do. Anytime I feel a certain way or I feel hindered or anything stagnant, I ask for the, the archangels just to give me strength to do that. And just know, you know, when you're helping people and they come along the way and I, I, I saw a really heartfelt message um, from Sal from Eat, Read, and Love. I, I love watching his tarots because they're just right there on the point with me. And he just brought something to my attention. It's just like when you when you are dealing with people and they're going through di different things, you can't put people in a box. You really can't. When you put people in a box and you start being mean and stuff like that and you're, you're, you're unkind to yourself, you end up spreading that out to people, and you don't want to do that. So you have to love yourself and be kind so you'll be able to push that out to the world. If not, it'll, it'll be malefic, and you don't want to do that. And it's just like, you know, he brought tears to my eyes when he was saying, you know, when you're healing and you find that love, that, you know, and I'm about to get emotional because it's just like when you find that love in yourself, it can help you heal, but you can show that love to somebody else, but they have to be willing to, able to, to be able to heal on their own you have to be willing to send that love and be able to help them heal on their own and then everything will be okay sorry guys it's, it's this beautiful feeling of knowing that you're in love and you feel love for yourself and you're wanting to share love with everybody else and it's a good feeling and I never thought I could feel this way because I never loved life. I, I hated life. You know, I felt like life was shit to me. <laughs> Excuse my language. But, you know, I, I just th thought I would just throw rocks all the time. And just, I had to just get out that, that situation. Just like, you know what? Dodge the rocks. <laughs> and keep moving. You know, you're going to have constantly have rocks thrown at you, but it's just the fact is, are you going to let it hit you or are you going to dodge out the way and make sure you don't get hit by that rock? But just so you know, it's always a lesson. <laughs> Either you dodge or you're going to get hit. But I'm not trying to hold you guys up today. I'm just trying to share the love. You know, divine gives me something. I got to go ahead and say it. So I hope everybody's doing good. Whatever you're doing this, this weekend, please be responsible. And I will talk to you later. Please, as I said, like and subscribe. Hit the notification button. Even hit that bell so you get you know when I'm going to open up my next video. And I will talk to you later. Much love. Peace. And be wild. Remember, don't forget your affirmations. Meditate. And always ask for the answers. You'll get them in divine time. Bye.